everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, now you know you guys. Today I want to do a full review on my Tory Burch sneakers. So until then, just wait. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, my name is Kenzie. I'm so happy to have you. I make a lot of videos on luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, but mostly handbags. I love those. So if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask that you consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time I upload. And without any further ado, let's get into the review. Sick rhymes. So. The Tory Burch sneakers. I have had these for a few months now, probably about three, three months. I want to say what's now, a April. <laughs> yeah, April. I got these. I want to say in like January at the beginning of the year. I got these. And I wear them really often. I wear them not every day because I do have my Celine sneakers as well, which I kind of go in between. They're for two different situations. These ones are for every single day going out running errands. I could take my dog and I walk in these. These are legit tennis shoes. I mean, I wouldn't take my dog. If it was like raining or muddy, I wouldn't do it because they're still like luxury sneakers. <laughs> but these are definitely more of an everyday type of sneaker where my Celine sneakers, I really only wear when I go to like more fancy parts of town or like the big mall areas and stuff. So like every review that I have done on the channel, we are going to be breaking this up into different categories. Uh, first thing, let's go ahead and just start with the look of the shoes. So here are what they look like. I turned down the light, the ISO, just so I could show you the color. You still can't really see it all that well. These are in a color called Biscotti. And I think it has a couple of different names depending on where you are, but that's what it's called uh, on my end. Right here has like the tiniest little bit of pink, and I mean it, like the tiniest little bit of pink, and it's like uh, like a pink white. It doesn't look pink. It looks like a very, very pale, muted, like the babiest of baby pinks, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. But then here is like a suede kind of beigey color. Uh, same thing with the logo. And don't look at the bottoms. <laughs> and then on the back right here, they just are blank, but on the side, on both shoes, you have the Tory Burch logo. And these just are very attractive shoes in my opinion. They look so good, look at that. And you have like beige laces as well. This was my first Tory Burch item and my only Tory Burch, Tory Burch, <laughs> her name is hard to say, and my only Tory Burch item as well. I haven't gotten anything else from Tory Burch. My dog is down here playing with his bone if you can hear that, so I apologize in advance. Let's get into the pricing on these shoes now. When I bought these, I wanna say these were like 200 and something doll hairs. I got these at Nordstrom, by the way, also. So let me look at Nordstrom. Oh, and these are called the Good Luck Sneakers, or Trainers, if you're in the UK. And these were $278. Man, they've, even, they've come out with even more colors now. They didn't have these. Okay, so the ones that I have are called French Pearl slash Biscotti. They didn't have all these colors when I got them, but this is so cool. Like, I look at this green. You didn't, you didn't even see that, but that's super cool. Anyways, so $278, and then I think with tax and everything, it came out to like an even 300 around that. Um, so definitely a luxury price point for sneakers. I feel like a lot of people tend to buy more expensive sneakers if they're going to buy something expensive when it comes to an outfit. You know, like people are really into Nikes or Nikes if you're in the UK, but a lot of people are into those kinds of shoes. People are into like the Jordans, the Air Force Ones and stuff like that. So those are around like a hundred-ish dollars even more if you're getting into like the really fancy ones on like StockX or GOAT or you know like that. So a lot of people tend to pay more money when it comes to shoes that I've seen online. I'm not saying everyone does this. Just what I've seen, people usually are more willing to spend money on shoes than usually any other part of the body. So let me tell you right now, shoes can make a statement. Whereas these are definitely more expensive than your Air Force Ones or your, you know, just basic Nikes or Adidas, Adidas. Um, 
even like New Balance, I think are like around 100 and 200 and these are 300. But I would just say kind of pick your poison. If you're really into these, if you like these, then these are great. But if you are more into like running or actually like hiking, working out or something like that, then I would go with the more sporty shoe. These ones are meant for leisure wear. I wouldn't work out in these just because, you know, they have a designer on them. <laughs> and, and I feel like if I work out in them, then it's gonna be bad, but I guess you can do whatever you want to do. So now let's talk about sizing. <laughs> the sizing on these shoes, and I'm actually gonna put this into a con. It's a con if you wanna see it. It's a, not a con if you don't, it's very nitpicky. But these shoes run extremely small. It is kind of nuts. I'm normally a size eight, uh, American 38 overseas. So I went in to, I went to Nordstrom. You know what? I told you guys that I got these at Nordstrom and that is not true at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I just misremembered. I went to Nordstrom. I got my Celine sneakers at Nordstrom, but I went to Nordstrom to try these on and they, okay, no ma'am. No, sir. I went to Nordstrom to try these on and they had an eight and they were so unbelievably small. <laughs> It was, I couldn't I could I couldn't even get them like tied. They were so small. They were very uncomfortable So then I was like, oh my god um, But then luckily there's actually a Tory Burch store in the mall that I went into like a like in the actual store and Then I tried an eight and a half and they were still too small They were like my 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 little toes were like doing this underneath like scrunched and I almost took the eight and a half because you know, I'm socially awkward at times and I was afraid to ask the store salesperson for a, another size when I had already asked them for the eight and a half and then I'm like oh these are too small and I was afraid to ask for a nine but then my husband was there and he was like see so ask for the nine and I'm just like okay so I asked her for a nine and they had it in stock in the color that I wanted and these fit perfectly. Absolutely perfectly, uh, but I would highly recommend sizing at least one size up. Um, if you can get away with a half size, that's cool, but I would entirely recommend sizing up a full size in these because they're very small. So now let's talk comfortability. Um, these shoes right here are relatively pretty comfortable. I haven't had too many issues when my feet have started hurting. I think the only only thing that I've had um, when wearing these shoes is if I wear them for a very long period of time, like if I'm going to be out all day or something, then I do start to notice that the sides of my feet get a little bit of wear and it does hurt a little bit. But other than that, um, they're really comfortable shoes. I've been able to wear these for hours on end and not really have any issues. I think the shoes have really good arch support as well. When I do walk around in these, I, I feel supported. Like it's, it's weird. Like I feel good in the shoes like I, I like the way they feel inside they're again very comfortable and yeah the comfortability is pretty good just when i wear them for a very long time the sides of my feet start hurting a bit um i haven't had any issues with like the backs of them rubbing my ankles or anything like that oh my god i have a pair of vans and i cannot wear them anymore because every single time that i wear them even with socks it doesn't matter i can wear like big socks no show socks doesn't matter what they somehow figure out how to pull my socks down and then I end up having to take the socks off because it's so uncomfortable. And then they rub my heels so raw that every single time I wear the Vans, I have a blister on the back of my heels and I just cannot stand it. I have not had any issue with that with these shoes, thank God. But yeah, pretty comfortable all in all. I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10 for comfortability. I should have spoken about this when I talked about the looks of the shoes and the design, but th I'm so happy that Tori put these on here. But if you look right here on the, on the snout, <laughs> the snoot of the shoe, they have these rubber thingamadooters right here and these things are great i wish every single shoe had these little rubber doodads on the front like this because these are actual protection like from getting it scuffed my celine sneakers do not have that and the fronts of them have got like small black scuffs on them these are great and i don't have any like wear or tear on these shoes like there's like a couple of like little baby spots right there if you can even see that and there is a, a bit of creasing because i genuinely don't give two shits about creasing i know a lot of people do and that's totally fine but i like 
uh, bent down in these shoes. I creased these shoes right there. A crease, but you know, honestly, it could be much worse. I have like a little scuff right here. Nothing really to write home about though. Honestly, the creasing could be worse with how much I like put pressure on them and it's not. So I do think that they are well made in that aspect. Oh, another thing that I just thought about. When I wear these shoes, they do not make my feet sweaty. I was going to say that, but then I forgot and I was like, oh my God, what else can I say about these shoes? There was something else that I wanted to say. That's what it was. I cannot stand when I wear sneakers and they make my feet all sweaty. I understand that sneakers, you know, they're not a sandal, you know, you're enclosed and everything and normally you wear socks with it. So I guess it's understandable if your feet get sweaty, but no, 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 no. I've had sneakers in the past that make my feet so sweaty and there's no air float or breathing or anything. And I'm just like, I can't do it because I get home, take my shoes and socks off and then my feet are just like, moist <laughs> and i'm just like i'm not about that life so these ones do not make my feet sweaty thank god um they're actually very comfortable and very breathable from that aspect honestly you guys i don't think i really have anything else to say about the shoes like i feel like i talked over a few good points these shoes don't really have that many cons <laughs> and i don't just want to like make up cons for the sake of you know keeping making the video longer or anything but yeah I, the only con that i really say with these shoes are the sizing they just run super small but that's really a nitpick um, everything else about the shoes have been great I really like them I think that they're a good price point I think that um, you know when it comes to luxury of course and I know that these are not like Celine style luxury you know like the Celine name is more on like the ultra luxury side these ones are more like mid-tier luxury like you have Tory Burch, Michael Kors, Marc Jacobs coach kate spade stuff like that those are like on the lower like mid-tier luxury point and then you have like your chanel dior celine all that good stuff but for like a mid-tier luxury type of thing i think these are great and i'm super into them i love them a lot and if you did want to look at them yourself i will have a link not sponsored or anything like that but i'll have a link to nordstrom and i'll have a link to tori birch's website directly uh, for the shoe so you can have a little shop yourself but you guys that is gonna be the end of the video today i really hope that you did enjoy it let me know what you thought of the shoes if you want to get a pair now let me know if you already have a pair or like what are your favorite sneakers just let me know something in the comments i love to know that but also click the like button and subscribe if you want to and ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time i upload and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!